Breakfast is served. You had a turn, let Michaela go. There's <laughs> look at this abundance of eucalyptus coming off of this big massive tree that's way up to the sky. It smells so good. I told Michaela, I says, what does it smell like? She goes, something that you put in your oil diffuser. So what's inside the tree? I'm gonna just uh what's grab me a little tree? piece of that and <laughs> take it on home. So it's like, what time is it? Oh. It's 5.45 and we're about to head off to my friend's house. They are getting ready to move. They have to be out of their house by um, tomorrow, I think, tomorrow night. So they've had a whole big old issue with getting keys and just all of this stuff or whatever. So we are going to lend a helping hand, the girls and I. So I'm gonna grab my water. Michaela's grabbing the tripod because I've been filming little bits and she's been filming little pieces of this. So we're making their um, vlog channel. So they're gonna be starting a vlog for uh, their move. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, we're ready to roll out. Hey, you need to sit back down. Mommy's going bye-bye, okay? So I'll be back. I wasn't even recording. On the table.
Yes. We're getting out of here. I can remember walking down those stairs for our high school prom. <laughs> So I'm here to pick up Preston's. Okay, thank you. To pick up Preston's prescription, and I'm using the little drive-through thing for the first time, and I'm like, where do I get my stuff from? <laughs> So I'm needing to pick up some pumpkin puree because I'm trying to make this Starbucks drink. I'm gonna run inside Target. Hopefully they have it because Walmart was out yesterday. And then I think I'm gonna go to Santana's. I actually think I'm gonna go to Santana's first because I'm hungry. Okay, so I just pulled up to Target, but first of all, I hope that they did this right and didn't put meat on here, but I want to see what these tacos taste like, so. On the picture in their restaurant, it looked like it showed that they had three different styles of these tacos. One said queso, so I'm assuming that one was cheese, but I guess maybe that just meant with cheese on it, because when I asked her, she was confused. Like, everybody always looks so confused when I say no meat, but I don't want any meat. I just wanted the tacos. Ooh, look at them. So they were supposed to just do beans and cheese. Hmm, yeah, fun stuff. So the only thing whenever I ask for stuff with beans is they always do refried beans, but in the picture it looked like there were pinto beans. On the plate so maybe that's just a thing that I do at home I don't know there's not many like vegan restaurants around here or vegetarian restaurants around here that like offer it so I'm always like basically just changing up what they already have existing on their menu but anyways these look really good I saw a recipe for these on Pinterest to make vegan ones or vegetarian ones that I have been wanting to try and then my girl Jamila over at um, Damn, what the fuck is your channel name, girl? Justice Jenkins. She made some and posted them on her Instagram story. And then when I seen them on the picture, as soon as I walked inside Santana's today, I was like, okay, hell yeah. So I'm gonna have to try these. So let's see. They're really hot. So yes, mukbang in the car while I'm kid free. <laughs> Supposed to be running errands. They're probably gonna be calling me in a minute. Where are you? What's taking you so long? You've been gone forever. I've been gone for two minutes. <laughs> All right, let's taste our tacos. What's that? It's really freaking hot. Well, I can't even pick it up. I mean, I feel like, I guess, how good can you make beans and cheese? Like how good can you make beans and cheese? So it just tastes regular. <laughs> I feel like if I would have made it at home, obviously like my beans would have been seasoned to fucking perfection. And it would have been great. But yeah. <laughs> Needless to say. But I thought it had some kind of like special sauce or something on it. But it don't really have that either. And I had to pay the same price for the taco with beans 
that I would have paired for the taco with asada or uh, shredded pork, carnitas, or whatever was gonna go inside, so. Well, this was pretty good. I'm gonna finish it. I actually got a bean and cheese burrito for myself, so I was being ridiculously greedy by getting both of these foods. So probably what I'll do is take these home to Samaya and Michaela because after I finish this, I'm gonna eat my burrito. Feels good. Not too shabby. Gives me an idea for what I can make at home. And I just got a bean rice and cheese burrito. And I had them add sour cream and pico. That one's good. <laughs> I'm actually more excited about that one than I am about those tacos. That rice is good. Oh, I can't wait to get back in the car and eat that. <laughs> Alright. I'm ready to put my book in my ear. I'm currently reading All About Love by Bell Hooks, which was a really good recommended read by The Hood Healer. So far, so good. So we're gonna head in Target. We're gonna cross our fingers that they have um, pumpkin puree and what else am I going in here for? I need to try to get the pumpkin puree. I had one more thing that I was supposed to be buying. There were two things that I was coming out for and now I can't remember. I hate when I do that. Hopefully I'll think of it when I go in the store and not get like 20 other things that I didn't come in here for. So, all right, let's get out. Nobody had the pumpkin puree, damn it. One more try, I'm at the 99 cents only store. Can they please have some pumpkin puree? Oh, hallelujah, look what we have here. Some pumpkin, I don't know what the hell brand this is, but I'm gonna get it. Target haul just because, why not? That'll be a good way to go ahead and close out. To go ahead and close out our little vlog today. Are those good? The sauce is good. <laughs> so we've got a little pumpkin. It's supposed to light up. I guess. Buns because yesterday Samaya was going to make some vegan black bean patties for dinner, but we didn't end up having that. So either me or Hubs is gonna make that today. I found the pumpkin! I did not get this from Target though. This came from the 99 cent store, so I was I really don't know what brand it is. Um, so hopefully it's just like regular <laughs> pumpkin like what would have been at the other store, but I got two of them. And they only had like five on the shelf, so. Okay, my son is like a craft maniac. Like, he is always trying to use the scissors, the glue, the damn hole puncher, the markers, the crayons, the pencils, the color pencils, the paint. Like, literally anything that you can think of, like, he needs to be in it every single day. And it's driving me nuts. Anyways, he keeps on going through glue. So, I seen this in the dollar spot, and it, I think it was like $4.99. But, these are my favorite glues. We're really talking about food. Okay. And because I was feeling a little festive, I picked up some fall cookies. 
They have their taco packet seasons. Taco packet seasons. Taco seasoning packets. Reduced price. Today they were like 31 cents, I think. So I just picked up like four of them because we're all out. And I haven't seen any of the McCormick brand taco seasonings. We usually buy not McCormick, ooh lord, no, uh, Laurie's. And we usually buy the Laurie's brand of taco seasoning and I haven't seen it at all. And the McCormick one is not good. I don't even know what this one tastes like, but I mean, they were on sale. I stopped in the 99 cent store to get the pumpkin. I also grabbed some lettuce because I wasn't sure if we had any at home. And then I saw these. So one of my subscribers on her Instagram, she is always making some bomb ass alkaline vegan food and she's always using like oyster mushrooms I think she said to make this like really good fried chicken that she posts a lot and I never see these anywhere so she told me to check my Asian market um, and I don't really know where I have one of those in <laughs> my local area to be perfectly honest so anyways I happened to see these in the 99 cent store they had these and like three different other types of weird what was that? Glue. I don't really even like mushrooms so I messaged her to see if these are it she hasn't messaged me back yet so hopefully these are them I might be trying to make me some fried chicken and maybe actually Why like it so we'll do for these but either Six way like, I've never seen these kind of before and then also I just picked up some more almond milk creamer and I think I tried the caramel one this time I don't really like it so this right here I think is literally my favorite one the sweet and creamy in the almond flavor. and then I got this pumpkin spice because if I did not find the cans of pumpkin then this was just gonna be the next best thing and we were gonna be improvising and doing our own thing and then look what they had they had these little festive is that what it would be or like holiday season drink so i got the synergy um this says living in gratitude it was fall edition but i just love that it even just said living in gratitude and it has like all of these like nice words on it and i'm like ah i really like the bottle but it's got apple turmeric carrot and then spicy so that actually sounds like it's gonna be really good and then kind of like right next to it they had this one and it's the tantric turmeric and so i've never tried this one i've actually never even seen this one before so i'm excited to try both of those in the fridge I had grabbed this also too. I don't even know how you say that and I'm not even gonna try guys, but it's this herb <laughs> in a spicy chai. And so I'm not really sure how good that's gonna taste, but um, I don't know, you know what, maybe I'll try this one right now. But then of course I just have my favorite one that I always get. This is like my literal favorite kombucha in the green apple. Like the first time I tried this, like, it blew my mind. No. But anyways. And then also this Dr. Brew is another one of my favorite brands of kombucha. Theirs tastes really subtle. And I think I like the packaging on theirs, like the names of all of theirs. This one is the love, I really like this one. Um, but they're really subtle. They have like a nice subtle flavor, so. Yes, y'all. I love me some kombucha. Got some sponges. Um, I like the Scotts Bright kind of these, but the 99 cent store usually always has a very, very similar sponge. Um, I don't even know, again, what brand this is. What this say? UFO brand. But this is like the closest thing that I can find to the Scotts Bright sponge. What are you doing? Excuse me? That's mine. It's so good. It's <laughs> so good though. It really doesn't look appetizing, but you guys, like, this bean rice and cheese burrito right here. Yes! I do. Smell it. This is, um,. Interesting. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, it isn't disgusting. It's probably not good. It definitely tastes like chai, but it's not sweet. So I don't know. 
didn't like it. Michaela didn't like it. I have so many videos. Like, I keep recording videos almost every day. I take some kind of footage of something with the anticipation of creating a vlog or some other kind of video content for you guys. And then I feel like the editing at this point in life just takes so long that by the time the video gets posted, like it's totally irrelevant. So it's a little eclectic, this video. Anyways, I didn't even have an outro. We just ended the video. That was like the last thing that happened that day of that week. And I guess that's it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed these little clips of some of the stuff that I got to do this week. I'm really excited for my friends uh, moving into their new house and we got some good stuff from the store and just a bunch of little regular old random things going on. So thank you guys for stopping by and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Bye.